This is Mathematical Fantasies, Stories of Numbers, Patterns, and Magic. And in this video, we're going to take a very quick look at this book. So this is a book that has a collection of short stories, and they are all fantasy-based, and they're all math-based. So they're short stories that involve actual mathematics, which kind of makes it fun. Stories of numbers, patterns, and magic. So in this video, we're going to take a quick look. Let's open it up. Mathematical fantasies, stories of numbers, patterns, and magic. And here are the contents. So the Fraction Kingdom, the Decimal Dragon, the Magical Multiplication Forest, Sir Adelot's Battle, get it, Adelot, <laughs> the Quadratic Enchantment, the Geometry Guild, the Prime Prophecy, the Land of Averages, the Ratio Tower, the Symmetry Mirror, the Graph Wizard, the Probability Potion, the Measurement Maze, and the Algebraic Amulet. And I thought it would be kind of fun to write a book on not just fantasy, but math and fantasy, because I don't, I don't know if there's any books out there besides this one. Let's look at the preface. This book brings mathematics to life through stories of adventure, mystery, and discovery. Mathematical fantasies transforms numbers, patterns, and equations into magical forces that shape entire worlds. Mathematics is not just a subject, it is a language of logic and wonder. Through these tales, you will journey through enchanted lands, solve ancient riddles, and uncover the hidden beauty of mathematical ideas. The adventure begins now, absolutely. And so basically, it's just a collection of short stories. And you can see it actually does have some math. For example, here is a little snippet. Alarak recited the formula from memory, and so we have the quadratic formula. And then she identified A, B, and C, and she substituted them into the quadratic formula. So you actually have mathematics uh, in this book. Now, it's not insane math, and here you're finding the vertex here for a parabola. So you see there is actual math in this book, which, which makes it kind of cool. But it is a fantasy book, so it's a book that, you know, you can lay down and read it in bed and maybe even actually learn a little bit of math from it, which is not something you expect from a fantasy book. For example, here, the Fraction Kingdom, in a faraway land nestled between the mountains of multiplication and the river of ratios, there lay a magical realm known as the Fraction Kingdom. This was no ordinary kingdom, for its people lived in perfect harmony by following the ancient laws of balance and sharing. Every loaf of bread, every golden coin, and every drop of water was divided fairly among its citizens. The kingdom thrived because everyone understood the power of fractions. Yeah, so it's just kind of a fun book. It's not really meant uh, for, for kids or anything, but kids could read this. I mean, it's certainly uh, appropriate, I think, for you know any, any age, I think. It's just a, a simple fantasy book that incorporates uh, math. And here's the back of the book. Unlock the power of numbers. Discover the magic of math. In this collection of short stories, numbers hold power, patterns reveal secrets, and logic shapes entire worlds. Mathematical fantasies transforms math into epic tales of mystery, wonder, and exploration. And inside you'll encounter the Fraction Kingdom, as we've already previewed, where balance rules the land. The Decimal Dragon, a guardian of precision. The Prime Prophecy, an ancient numerical riddle. The Geometry Guild, where shapes hold great power. The Probability Potion, unlocking the mysteries of chance. And many more mathematical adventures. And this is part of my short story series. I have a couple other books on, on short stories and they're, they're very different uh, from this one. They're not, they're not all fantasy books. This book blends math, creativity, and storytelling into an unforgettable journey. Stop seeing numbers as just numbers. Start seeing them as magic. And yeah, I do have more short stories. Uh, currently, I have a few other books, uh, but they're, they're, they're just they're unrelated to this one. They're not fantasy books. One's about a bird who knows mathematics. Uh, but yeah, they're, they're all about all about mathematics. Anyway, so I just wanted to show you uh, this book. It's pretty cool. Um, check it out if you want. I'll leave a link in the description to this book and all my other books. Uh, check out my courses, by the way. I always forget to mention those. I have courses. Uh, get the links from the description of this video or from my website, mathsorcerer.com or freemathbids.com if you want to learn math. But this can teach you some math too. It's just a fun little book uh, that I wanted to show you and share with you today. Take care. Stay strong, my friends.